Howdy, stranger. Where can I get you? What's up, folks? Mike for CMCC Builds here with another 5-minute build. What's the 5-minute rule? I featured the Crossbow Expert Battlemaster in a couple different releases recently, so it's time I dedicated a video to this build so it can be shown in detail. If this is your first time watching a 5-minute build, in these videos we will discuss progression and some key choices and features. Here we will answer the how and how to build a Crossbow Expert Battlemaster, while the more detailed, longer build videos will answer the why of those specific choices. These shorter build videos allow viewers to quickly see a build without having to carve out those 20 to 30 minutes to do so. 20 minutes? Some of you may have noticed a thanks option near the like and share button. If you're so inclined and want to support the channel but don't want to do the whole Patreon thing, that's another good option to do so. If not, please consider subscribing to the channel or liking the video. It helps out a join lot. Me. Like a lot. Don't join me. A lot of you guys who are watching the videos aren't subscribed, so come on, hit that subscribe button and join the fun. John doesn't subscribe to Chaos. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's jump into it. Race, variant human. For the skill proficiency, take perception. And with the feet, crossbow expert, of course. The damage from levels 1 to 4 is slightly higher here than with sharpshooter. Abilities, strength 10, dexterity 15, constitution 15, intelligence 8, wisdom 14, charisma 8. You can put the wisdom points wherever you want, but with strength and con save proficiency and the high dex score, pumping wisdom goes a long way to shore up those saving throws. Equipment, you'll need a hand crossbow and the best light armor you can find. For class, we're going fighter of 1 through 20, just like the samurai build, seen here. I tend to prefer to dip Battlemaster with just three levels and then mixing with Ranger or Monk or a spellcasting class, but if you're going deep into Fighter, staying for all 20 levels often makes sense for more maneuvers and the capstone fourth attack. For proficiencies, I like Acrobatics with a high dex and Insight with a solid wisdom score. The archery fighting style is the only option here, and for the martial archetype, Battlemaster. For the Artisan's Tool, take whatever works. I go with Alchemist Supplies because I like the Witcher and it's listed first. What maneuvers should you take? There are only four I would say are must-haves and the rest you can change based on your taste, but I would recommend giving the final five a good look before choosing a different one. Precision attack is where most of the superiority dice will be spent on this build. When you get sharpshooter and the negative five plus 10 power attack, precision attack will turn nearly four of those misses into hits, which does a great job of upping your DPR. Pushing attack provides force movement, which is always great. Menacing attack is generally the best maneuver because the frightened condition is so good, and ambush because initiative is awesome. Tactical assessment for help with out of combat skill checks, trip attack to knock enemies prone so you can rush up on them and point blank blast them in the face without disadvantage because of crossbow expert, while providing advantage to you and your allies. Goading attack is great from range. Disadvantage on everyone but you, but you're 100 plus feet away, I hope they have ranged attacks. Commanding presence for more out of combat help, and finally bait and switch, which I would likely use opposite to its most common usage, and switch with a tankier ally so you can get out of dodge and boost your AC. Level 4, Sharpshooter. Your 30 foot crossbow range jumped to 120 along with the other goodies. Extra attack at 5 and piercer at level 6 with a bump to dexterity, bringing that to the odd score 17. Piercer was discussed in the samurai video if you want a more detailed breakdown. It's a decent DPR increase and provides some fun rolling opportunities. Know your enemy at 7 is not very good and why I'm usually just dipping Battlemaster. We do get another superiority die here which is nice. Skill Expert at 8 to get proficiency and expertise in stealth, along with an 18 deck score. You are now a stealthy boy. Stealth. Indomitable at 9, and at 10, the superiority dice turn into d10s. 11 gives a third attack, and at 12, you can max dexterity. If you want to max dexterity at 8 and forego piercer and skill expert, that's a viable route, but makes the build less well-rounded. At 14, take alert to win initiative. You know it's good to win initiative? Oh, and not be surprised and all that. 15 gives relentless. The you gain a superiority die when you start combat without one feature. It was very good on the samurai and not very good here. One superiority die just doesn't do much for us, but it's better than nothing. And the final superiority die bringing the total to six every short rest. At 16, resilient wisdom to further fortify those wisdom saves. The odd score unfortunately doesn't bump the wisdom modifier here, but at 18, superiority dice bump to d12s. And at 19, take fey touch wisdom to get that single teleport when you absolutely have to be where you are not. This rounds off wisdom to a solid 16 and provides access to the hunter's mark spell for some added DPR. Hex is a bit stronger of a spell because of the second clause, but I think Hunter's Mark fits better with the Battlemaster flavor. Either works though. What flavor? And finally at level 20, the fourth attack. Boom. Done. Done. Now go kill some stuff like the fantasy cowboy you are. See you here next time, folks. I'm your huckleberry. That's just my game.